Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to a RuneScape news video. Skill pets have been released, which is kind of awesome, and oh my goodness. Uh, this is a, uh, a long post uh, for this, but we'll get through it, we'll get through it. Um, so there's been brand new skill pets. There are 19 pets that you can get out of all, pretty well all skills. Uh, not quite all skills, but we'll go through the skills that are, um, that you can get them from and how to get them. So what you need to do to get them per skill. So uh, just to let you know the requirements here that they are free to play uh, as well, but only for... Um, free to play skills so you can't say be free to play and get like a, a thieving pet or the fletching pet or anything like that it has to be a free to play skill so uh, that's still not bad at least uh, free to play players can get them in those specific skills so uh, you unlock these pets as a random drop when training the specific skill in the ways that are listed below which I will list uh, the higher your level in the skill the higher chance you get of uh, you getting its pet now I have a hundred slayer and I'm currently slaying uh, Aqua Knights in this video trying to get this pet, and uh, I don't get it throughout the entire video. So these are probably not the easiest things to get a hold of, so that's very interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, your brand new buddies can also be used as familiar overrides as well, so that's kind of cool. It's complete with their unique animation for spawning, despawning, attacking, defending, and special attacks. Uh, also, once you have unlocked five of these guys, you will unlock the title Jack of Trades, and if you unlock all of them, you will get Jack of All Trades, which is a golden title. So... Uh, it, where it's a golden title, these are obviously not the easiest things to get a hold of, uh, so just yeah, keep that in mind. It might take you a while, so pick your favorite first and do that one. Uh, yeah, so this is a list of all of the skills here and how to essentially uh, get a hold of them. So uh, Agility, which is Dojo Mojo, that's the name of the pet. You can get it by completing any of the following Agility courses. Birth Rope, Gnome Stronghold, Advanced Gnome Stronghold, Agility Pyramid, Penguin, Barbarian, Advanced Barbarian, Apatol, Wilderness, Werewolf, Bando's Throne Room, Heffin, uh, Dorshkan, and Serenity Posts. So uh, that's how you can get that. Keep in mind, Silverhawk Boots are excluded from this. So if you're training agility via Silverhawk Boots, you have to actually do the courses to get the pet. Silverhawk Boots will not work. Construction. I'm not going to name all the names of these guys. I'm just going to name off the skills and how to do it. Uh, construction. Building furniture at a furniture hotspot or assembling flat packs. Cooking, which is pretty basic. Uh, cooking food or brewing. Crafting, uh, which you could get by crafting battle staffs, gl glass blowing, crafting jewelry, crafting leather, using a potter's wheel, or using a spinning wheel. So if you have a bunch of flax to do, this is the time to do it. Divination, by gathering wisps and converting memories. Note for divination that any products made through divination will not count. Also, gathering from divine locations will also not work. So keep that in mind. Uh, divine locations as well will not work for that specific skill of the divine location. So say if you have a divine box trap, you will not be able to get the hunter um, pet from doing that. You have to actually do the skill. So just keep that in mind too. Dungeoneering. Completing dungeons. The dungeoneering pet chance is adjusted to take party size into account. Doing a floor quickly on your own has about the same chance of yielding a pet as completing a five person floor quickly. Resource dungeons do not count and other skills trained while in dungeoneering will not give you a chance to gain the skilling pet in that specific skill. So same thing as like the divination thing. It's You have to actually do the skill. You can't do it in, in dungeoneering dungeons. Farming. Checking patches and planting seeds, uh, fire making, herb burner, bone burning, burning log lines, bonfires, and infernal ads will not work. Fishing, f f fishing, <laughs> barbarian fishing, and waterfall fishing are included in this, by the way. So just general fishing. Fletching, fletching bows, stringing bows, feathering slash tipping ammo, and feathering headless arrows. Herbalore, mixing a potion, cleaning herbs, and herb burning. So herb burning, that's in interesting that that counts, but it does. Hunter, you can do by basically doing hunter. So tracking, bird snaring, butterfly netting, implings, deadfalls, box traps, rabbit snaring, net trapping, pitfalls, falconry, magic boxes, charm sprites, and catching div chronicles. Keep in mind, I haven't, I, I doubt it. I'm not, I'm going to say it's not going to work, but I haven't seen anything on this yet. Um, the protein stuff, uh, not sure if that's going to work. Uh, I would assume that it probably does but probably maybe a reduced chance because it's going to be kind of hard for them to track like with construction for example building on furniture stuff uh where hunter doesn't uh where protein traps don't give you any loot or anything like that i don't know if that's if that still counts i don't see anything on here it'd be nice for jagex to maybe kind of let us know on that but uh just keep that in mind i don't know if it works or not so uh invention disassembling siphoning and discovering blueprints uh so that's interesting 
uh, mining by mining or doing lava flow mine, rune crafting by using altars, going to rune span and siphoning creatures, nodes, and or the rune sphere also works. So you don't have to actually, you know, do traditional rune crafting, thank god. Slayer, which is the one I'm trying to get. Killing an enemy that counts towards your slayer task, which I currently am. And reaper assignments also work. I'm wondering if reaper assign assignments are maybe a increased chance where they are boss kills. I don't know. Um, it does not say, so um, I'm going to guess it probably is a slightly higher chance. Um but yeah, smithing, smelting bars, smithing weapons and armor, uh, making the following items in Artesian Workshop. Burial armor, cannon repair, ceremonial swords, and tracks, nothing else, just those. Thieving, regular pickpocketing, elf pickpocketing, stalls, chests, pyramid plunder, and note that doors are excluded from this. Uh, wood cutting is the final one. Tree cutting, ivies, log splitting. So that's kind of cool. Please note too that for wood cutting, machete cutting is excluded. So no machete stuff. So uh, please note that once you unlock a pet, the game will try to add it to your inventory, then your bank. If both are full, it will be delivered as soon as you clear a space in either of those places. Uh, and they hope that you, you know, do do stuff. Yay. <laughs> Uh, they say at the bottom here, we hope you enjoy the unlocking these fantastic new rewards. Just remember, a skill pet is for life, not just for Christmas. Yeah, it's summer, we know. So, just making, poking fun at the whole people getting puppies and not understanding puppies. Um, but that's literally it for the news. Uh, there is patch notes. There's also, of course, your regular live streams, like uh, Tuesday, there is uh, Catherine and White Wolf Mountain rework going on, so that's probably the next update. Um... Uh, August 26th, there is an update preview with Mod Shawnee, and Sunday, August 28th, there is PVM with Mod Lee. So, hooray. In other news, oh yes, Mod Shawnee happy hours at the beach. If you want to hang out with Mod Shawnee for happy hour at the beach next week on Worlds 82 and 83, Monday, so today, today yes, today, um, to Friday, actually, at 1500 hours, and again at 2200 hours game time at Lumbridge Beach, and Saturday the 27th to Sunday the 28th at 2100 hours game time. Um, I think that's how you say it, 20 hundred hours, sure, why not? So if you want to get the happy hour stuff, that is how you do it. That's where he's going to be and when he's going to be there. So that's pretty much it for me today. What do you think about the uh, pets? There's a lot going on with them. I want one, god damn it. And I will be slaying my butt off until I get one. So have fun, good luck, and I will see you all next time. Peace.